Los Angeles is sometimes called the fragmented metropolis. Its huge population is spread out over such a large space that they rarely feel like they share the same city. But here at Moonfire, the Marvin family is a state nearly 2,000 feet above it all. The entire metropolis comes together in one frame. It's no wonder that artists have flocked to Moonfire. Jim Morrison of The Doors performed here, Andy Warhol, Tommy Chong, and even Paul Newman made films here. Making disciples for supper? But to get a glimpse of the view from Moonfire, first, you have to get here, and that's no easy feat. It's a five-mile trip up to Pangi Canyon onto a small paved road, then onto a dirt fire road for about a mile before you get to their gate. When Louis Marvin III, the now-deceased family patriarch, bought the property in 1957 for about $15,000, he had to dynamite and bulldoze a pathway through. On a sunny day, it was no problem for a four-wheel drive Jeep, but the current caretaker, Louis's son, Louis IV, says he's been trapped at the top when the road has been washed out after heavy rains. The road will get really washed out. Uh, it won't be passable if it were raining for three or four days. I think I've stayed here for as much as 10 days, eight days. If I were faced with uh, a fire or a large rain. The Marvin's driveway was used in the 1966 Paul Newman film Harper and it's little changed today, which is to say that it's still a two mile dirt road of hairpin turns around steep cliff sides. The Marvin's home is unlike any other in Los Angeles, maybe anywhere. Moonfire, as Mr. Marvin dubbed it, is perhaps more than anything a tribute to his eccentricity. I call my home Moonfire, the moon and fire being ancient symbols of life and death. Think 1960s psychedelia meets California funk, meets stained glass Jesus, marble Minerva, and an abandoned missile shell or two. The home's living spaces are spread out into three separate buildings, some better maintained than others. There is a temple overlooking Santa Monica Bay with 180 degree plus views. But no living space of the home is quite as stunning or as picturesque as the roundhouse, a self-standing two-story living room made of porous rainforest wood walls, a giant chandelier, and 20-foot-tall windows looking out on Santa Monica Bay far, far below. Today, only Louis Marvin IV lives here full-time, and he works nonstop protecting the house from the elements here. Louis also spends much of his time feeding the animals. The Marvins have a turkey and some Vietnamese pot-belly pigs. But no visit to Moonfire is complete without a petting session with Ebok, the estate's vegan-fed horned billy goat, the goat with the best view in all of Los Angeles. For the Wall Street Journal in L.A., I'm Max Taves.